Hi, and welcome to your next installment of Art with Kaylee. By popular request, today we're going to learn how to draw aspen trees. Aspen trees are one of the more fun and simple things to draw. They're actually my favorite tree, partly because I see them all the time where I live, and also because they're just really fun and interesting to look at. It's a great introductory lesson because I believe you'll find confidence and success as you practice throughout this tutorial. Additionally, on my website, kayleequick.com, I will have some resources for you so you can look and follow along and help guide you throughout this practice. So without further ado, let's get started. The supplies you will need for this tutorial is just two standard eight and a half by 11 inch pieces of printer paper and a pencil. Mechanical or standard is fine. Before starting to draw, notice the edges of the paper and review the aspen tree image I have in the folder on my website. Check out where the aspen tree meets the top of the resource image and the bottom of the image. Notice how there's some variation where they land. We will begin bringing the trees down from the top to the bottom. This will create variation and fluidity through the lines of the trees. Try your best not to draw them straight down from the top. For this project, we're going to focus on the five main trees in the front of the image. While holding your pencil towards the middle, begin very lightly sketching the aspen tree outlines, starting with the outer two and then building the others from there. Start with the top lines and work your way down to the bottom. These are meant to be very loose and sketchy. Don't worry about erasing yet, although if you're feeling compelled to, that's fine. Remember, we are using these outlines as a guide and we'll make our committed lines later so they can be freely drawn. While creating these trees, remember that they are organic so they don't have to be perfectly straight lines. They will curve slightly in some areas and go back to your general line in others. Feel free to pause the video while you complete your outlines while I run through this at super speed. Make a light mark on each of the trees. It gets a little confusing with the straight lines and remembering where the trees are. We will erase these later. Check back in with the resource images on my website. Notice that there is a subtle shade of gray on the right side of each aspen tree. This is the shadow from our light source, which is lighting the left side of our trees. We also have a slight highlight on the right side of our trees. Just keep that in mind as we're progressing to our next step. Begin lightly filling in the shading of the right side of the trees. I'm holding my pencil down towards the eraser because it allows me to have more looseness and freedom for the marks, although you can put a little pressure down and give it a light to mid-range value. Use your second sheet of paper underneath your hand. This will keep your hand from smudging the pencil and leaving a bunch of graphite on the bottom of your hand. I'm gonna super speed through this. Feel free to press pause as you complete the shading of each tree. Go ahead and erase the marks we created to emphasize which tree is which. We no longer need them as we now have our shading. However, I'm just going to leave them because I don't really think they interfere with my drawing. Return to the reference image from my website. On aspen trees, I also feel like these little knotted areas look like eyeballs, so I like to play with that idea when going into the drawing. Be careful though, because if your brain thinks eyeballs, you're going to naturally construct what you think looks like an eyeball and not what's actually there. Use the reference image to notice how different these areas actually are. Start with lightly sketching them, one by one, then hold your pencil closer to the edge to give them some very dark values. Okay, super speed again.
refer back to the reference image. Notice each of the little black spots on the aspen trees. Your inclination is going to be to make these in a pattern once you draw them. Try your best to make them as randomized as possible. It's best to go back and forth between the reference photo and place them loosely where you see them, but that's not mandatory. I kind of make them up as I go along. Notice that they are not perfect circles. Many of them are oval shaped or some sort of organic shape. Go ahead and press pause on the video after I run through another super speed. Go back to the outlines of the aspen trees. Holding closer to your pencil, make some fluid lines defining the trees. Remember, these aren't meant to be perfectly straight lines. It's okay to have some curves and variation. Go ahead and press pause again while you finish the outlines of the trees. Go ahead and spend some time erasing the original outlines of the trees. You may have some overflow that's kind of messing up the image a little bit. The next part I'm gonna do isn't necessarily in the original image, but I think it adds some nice contrast and some cool flow from the aspen trees to the edges of the branches we're about to construct. Go ahead and start at the base of the branch on the aspen tree, then subtly thin it towards a nice point at the end of the branch. After we're done making the point, go ahead and add just a slight little extra branch flowing off of the tips of the original branch. Go ahead and create a whole variety of these around the upper edges of the aspens. Well, we finished our drawing. You did a great job today. Go ahead and take a moment to sign your new masterpiece and give yourself a giant pat on the back. Well done. Well, I hope you gained something from this tutorial today. Please feel free to share it online with me on Instagram at Kaylee Monster or on Facebook, facebook.com slash KayleeQuickArt, or simply email it to me to KayleeQuick at gmail.com. It'll warm my little heart. If you got something from this video and are in a place to donate, feel free to follow the link below and that'll just take you to my PayPal. Just couple bucks or something like that is no big deal. It just helps me cover some of the costs for applications and maybe some of the materials that I'm getting for the future. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you have a super fantastic day and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.